this is a really tough thing to photograph. You got an alligator out here. It's a pretty small alligator, but they're so long. How do you frame it? How do you get that right shot? How do you get that visually intriguing shot to come across? If I shoot right here, I'm with a 500 and I don't know, I'm probably I'm about 20 feet away. All I'm getting is like mid portion of his body and then the nose and he's actually looking that way. If I get up there, if you look close at the shot, there's a green leaf that goes right in front of his face. So I can't even get a shot of his face looking straight on. This is actually the first alligator I've photographed in the wild. So I want to get a really cool shot, but I'm having a really difficult time figuring out what is the shot that we're going to get. Now the solution is I go over and I get my 80 to 200 and I try to get as low as I can and I'll just compose the whole scene and have some top and bottom. With the 500, I'm pretty limited to get that really cool shot at this point. Okay, now we've got a much better situation to actually get the shot that we want. It's moved now. It's, it's went off of the log into the water and it's come around and it's moved around so that now just the head is up above the water. It's gonna give us a much better shot for composition because I don't have to worry about the rest of the body now. The focal point now becomes just the alligator head coming up out of the water. Now, I don't need the small lens anymore. I use the 500 and I try to get in there to get that perfect shot. 